Welcome, I'm Jason with Serico. Today, we are going to go through the process of disassembling and rebuilding your Iwata LPH-80 spray gun with the kit available on our website. Before we get started, let's talk about the reasons why your spray gun may need service. Over time, parts in your spray gun will naturally wear from use. Preventative maintenance is important for longevity and prevention of issues while in the middle of a project. How often you need to service it is very dependent on use but here are some things that indicate when it's time for service. Coating leaking from the needle packing seat, a needle that is difficult to install into the spray gun body, a needle that will not retract after depressing the trigger, or air escaping from the air valve seat. Here are the equipment and tools required for service. The supplies required for this project are a needle packing kit, which includes the bushing, the internal seal, and the needle packing nut. Another option is the Iwata Rebuilding Kit, which includes the previously mentioned parts, as well as a spray gun trigger eclipse and an air valve o-ring. The tools required are a flat blade screwdriver, the Iwata spray gun wrench, a pair of tweezers, and of course, your spray gun. Next, it may also be helpful to have a pair of gloves and any other spare parts that you may need to replace. Begin by unthreading the spray gun cup. This is not necessary, but does help when removing the rest of the components. Remove the spray gun fluid adjustment knob and the needle. Using the supplied wrench, remove the fluid adjustment guide. Be careful not to lose any components as it comes out of the backside of the gun. With a flat blade screwdriver, remove the air valve retaining set screw. Push from the back side of the trigger to remove the air valve. Using the opening in the center of the Iwata spray gun wrench, dislodge the E-clip from the trigger pin. Remove the clip, the pin, and the trigger from the spray gun. Using the small end of the wrench, remove the needle packing seat, with tweezers carefully remove the old seal and old bushing from inside of the spray gun. It may be helpful to use the same tweezers when installing the new bushing and new seal. Reinstall the needle packing seat and thread hand tight. Using the wrench, add one quarter turn. Reinstall the trigger. Slide the trigger pin through the housing and place the E-clip against the pin. Using the wrench, reinstall the clip and verify trigger operation. Next, remove the old O-ring from the air valve. Be careful not to poke yourself with the tweezers. Slide the new O-ring on the end of the valve and apply one drop of the Iwata spray gun lubricant. Be careful not to over oil. Install the air valve into the body of the spray gun and begin threading the air valve set screw into place. It may be helpful to hold the fluid adjustment guide vertically for installation 
into the spray gun. This will ensure that alignment of all components is correct. Lastly, hand tighten with the Iwata wrench. Next, reinstall the fluid needle, return spring, and fluid adjustment knob. Verify the needle returns and operates smoothly. Lastly, reinstall the spray gun cup. And that concludes the Iwata LPH80 service video. For more information, visit Saracote.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.